<laughs> right, well, welcome uh, back to the channel. Very impromptu video, this. I just had a phone call from uh, my mate Matt, who runs, uh, is one of the admin and runs Evolution Southern Sea Fishing Group on Facebook. I'm linking them below. He called me up and he said to me, I've, um, I've got something I'm about to get rid of. Do you, do you fancy it? Said it's an old 1980s rib sib uh, from the RNLI. Went right. He was four minutes away. You can see my hands are black from it. Um, so I jumped in the car. The back's not amazing, but um, Matt and his dad helped it into the car. We've got it home, and he's going to come soon to help me get it out of the car and place it on the driveway. We're going to pump it up, clean it up, and see what it looks like. Let's take a look. So, here it is, you can't see much of it yet, but this is it rolled up. That's the board it sits on. That's the old school pump it comes with. You have to excuse all this, this is Christmas trees. And we're just gonna, we're gonna pump it up, clean it up, um, and see what we can do with it. It's gonna look very random. <laughs> Didn't expect to be making a video today, but we are. Um, we're gonna get out of the car when Matt and his dad gets here. We're gonna put it on the driveway, we're gonna pump it up, and uh, see what it looks like. Right, can't believe what we've done, but let's see. Oh dear. Oh. Well, there it is. Um, yeah, we'll just have thanks to Matt. He's sponsoring the video, supplying the free boat. And I'm gonna get my pump out and see what we can do with it. Better pumping in the back. Check. Well, it's pumping up. That is how many tools it took us to, <laughs> to get the floor in. We're gonna pump it up again now and uh, yeah, see what it looks like in the morning, I suppose. But yeah, it's a nice old retro bit of kit. Very retro. Ah. Well, 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 that took longer than we expected. We got the floor in the end. I'll say I put that blue barrel under it and we bent it and we squeezed it in and we got it in. And we've blown it up to what we can for now. And this is it. So very, very tatty. You can see uh, that's the bow cover and it's got tears in it. Um, I believe this is a 1980s rib. We've got some broken handles. Um, but think how many lives this would have saved. We could say that's the floor, we got that in in the end. Um, we've got an old foot pump as well. Look at that, old retro pump as I showed you earlier. Got a couple of bits and bobs to put back on there. Sponsons come back here. So we've got that, that which I'd imagine is where the water flows out of maybe. Or Something where the engine, I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. But uh, in transit, I guess they go on these little cleats here. So they kind of stick up like so. But look at that. Tomorrow more, see there's a bit of damage on there. Look, you can see a little bit of, little bit of damage, but this boat hasn't been inflated for two years. And um, when I saw it, you know, when, when Matt rang me, I, I looked at it and went, that, is just, that, <laughs> that isn't gonna hold any air. Um, and at the moment, it is. Um, we've already pumped it up to about 2 psi. I'd imagine these tubes probably go up to about 5 or 6 psi. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to charge the battery up on the, um, the charger there. And uh, we're going to try and pump it up a little bit more and see if it holds enough air. But the idea will be, is we're going to find someone who's an enthusiast. Uh, maybe an online museum or someone with a trailer who wants to take it somewhere shallow, somewhere safe, um, and, and have a little trip out on it, and then either get rid of it or, or keep it for themselves. Because I, I don't want it permanently, um, but I'm gonna give it a nice clean tomorrow. I'll take you on, you'll see the video will be out for you to see. Um, we'll do a little clean on it. And then, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Who wouldn't want a rib just outside their front door? Right, so welcome back. It's a few days after we've collected the boat, um, and now it's time to give it a clean, see what it polishes up like. It's holding air sort of. Um, there's definitely a hole in the keel. Um, what else? Uh, there's obviously a couple of holes in it because it's not quite as hard as it should be. Um, but it, it's holding air. And I've got a few people which are interested in restoring it. So let's get it cleaned see what it looks like and uh, see if we can perform it to some sort of former glory. 
I've got a very special, very special cleaning solution, which is going to turn this boat into like like new uh, with very little effort, uh, and that will be available to buy uh, possibly in the future via us. Uh, so let's get on with the cleaning and uh, see what, what we can bring it up like. So our special cleaning solution is in a disguised elbow grease style spray bottle. Now you can see all this muck here. We're just gonna spray it with this solution. Being very, very careful. It doesn't get our eyes because it's exceptionally strong. Just let that, let that do its thing. And then that's just gonna work its magic. And then we're just gonna get an old towel, a dog towel, this one, and wipe it off. Watch this. That is how good our solution is. This whole boat here is gonna look so much newer than what it did. So there's gonna be a few before and after pictures, but we're just gonna go through and clean it up now and uh, see what it looks like, see what we can bring it up to. Now, now I don't think you've ever seen me wear glasses on this channel, but um, this solution is so strong, I no, no way I'm getting this in my eyes. So um, I put these, I should really have safety goggles on, but these are the only glasses I can find. Um, reading glasses, believe it or not. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna get going on this boat, but it's looking amazing already. So we're gonna keep cleaning it up and, uh, and see, see what we can bring it up, bring it up like. So this is just on the top tube. We've sprayed it down. We've left it about 10 seconds. Now you can see black marks, all black marks. Get our towel and just wipe off. This stuff, believe me, you won't get any better than that. Look how clean that is. It literally eats away at rubbish without damaging the fabric. Look at that, fantastic. Now the orange, we're, we're, we're not bringing up. It's not bad, look, it's a lot better if you look down there, we haven't done that section yet. You can see it's all black and brown. And then up here, we've got nice bright orange. But obviously, uh, this is painted on, I believe, or it's just a very thin material. You can see down here, it's like cracks away a little bit. So um, it's not it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to give it a good old clean of what we can. Um, so we've done around here, but look, look at the well, the grey, especially, just comes off. Look how beautiful that's going to be. You know, look, compare it to that side. It's all black and horrible. And then we've got this side here. And that's not even scrubbing, that's just rubbing down gently. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Maybe not usable, but pretty for the next owner, at least to start uh, the project on. I really hope someone can, can uh, fix it up and make it nice, fingers crossed. So this one here is gonna be a great example. So I'm just brushing all the dirt off, just with a brush. And then I'm going to say to spray that solution on. Hang on, get, a bit, get that muck off there. Spray that solution all over the side here. Do it up the top as well, why not? Get it all on there. I've made up this one about three quarters solution, three quarters water, quarter water, so it's quite strong stuff. But watch, watch this. I've got the world's best post lady behind me just delivering my post. She's probably wondering what the hell's going on. <laughs> right, there you are. Let's clean that up. This clean up is absolutely incredible stuff. The post lady won't know what boat it is tomorrow by the time I finish with it. So this, this, this rag's a bit oily, so I'm just going to change it in a minute. It's just spreading the dirt, but Look at that. Literally, it's like it just changes the boat. Look at that, and then we'll top, top it here. Oh, that a nice 
are so clean. Look how much better this is looking. Still not in great condition, of course, but wow, just the condition of that is a lot better. I've just changed the solution slightly for uh, for the orange part because it's got a lot of muck, um, so it's sort of more three quarters um, solution, one quarter water, but a little, a little bit more than it was before. <coughs> oh. It's strong stuff, I tell you that. Right, so I'm just going to take you over here. Um, as you can see on this one, really dirty compared to that. This is probably going to be one of the best transformations this area here I mean it's absolutely gross it needs so much work doing to this boat um, you've got the floor down there it's just yeah it's look how dirty it is under there but we're gonna make it look like this see how that watch watch this it's gonna be a lot of watch this and see how amazing it is but it's it really is incredible look at that oh, that's taken seconds that's not even that's not even any effort or any muscle going into that to scrub that up look at that absolutely incredible compared to that, look, amazing difference. Just with a little spray and a little rub, done. Obviously there's a lot of shade in here and uh, the sun's uh, behind me, so getting a bit of shade, but you can see all the dirt here. Um, this is just that we're just doing the last bit now. Uh, just got the inside to do, and then uh, then just sort of bit underneath, and so that'll be that'll be the cleaning done. But look at that! Straight away, it just cleans up beautifully. Well, you know, beautifully for an old boat. But we're going to try and pump it up in a little in a minute, uh, just a little bit more, just to see what air we can hold in it. I reckon the operating pressure of this is probably about four bar, four and a half bar but there's a lot of different tubes. So it might be that they're all about three and a half, um, but we'll, we'll give it a go until it's hard and um, just see, see if we can pump it up to that much. But yeah, I, it might be salvageable for someone who really knows what they're doing. And I hope it is, because um, it's a, uh, oh God, my bloody back still hurting. Um, yeah, it's a really nice boat. Um, and it's old school and I like doing old school stuff up. I'd love to do it, I really would, but time-wise, I just haven't got it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just can't be doing too much bending around at the moment. It's taking a lot of painkillers this morning to get through this, but we're um, yeah, we're doing all right. We're we're getting there anyway. And it's just something to do to try and just help the mind, you know. But yeah, once I've cleaned this size, I think um, I think we'll be ready to pump it up and um, try and show it in some of its former glory. I suppose it's cool. I like it. I really like it. fiddle around in my shed and I found a new adapter. Uh, the other day, uh, the other evening you saw us pumping up, we were using this one here, which was the wrong one, and I found a good one. And look, our pressure is going up steadily. So I'm going to put them all to about uh, three, 3 psi if I can. And, uh, and see see how we get on. But I'm really glad I found the correct the correct piece. Makes it a lot easier. Well, well, well. Would you believe it? 
every single tube has filled up to 3 psi and uh, with that new connection it's gone up straight away question is is now does it hold air and how long plugging in the um the, the plug into the connectors a lot of them still held air from the previous day when we put them up to 2 psi so actually i don't think there's any major leaks which is great um, and if there wasn't a major major leak you'd know about it you, you wouldn't be able to fill it up to 3 psi it just wouldn't hold it it just get to two and a half or two and it'd just be pissing out but um, we managed to get to three and um, it's, it's looking quite good as you can see it's all you know it's pretty pumped up i say i think it needs to go a bit more i think it's probably four psi but there's a lot of different valves i mean that's hard that's hard that's hard you know it's that's going to float at the end of the day which is the most important part the bit i haven't tried yet is the keel now i'm pretty sure there's holes in that keel because under that floor when we put it in there was um there was a few rocks that we left uh, or stones you know underneath which is a bit stupid but um we didn't really expect it to even go up um, but i'm gonna i'm gonna pump the keel up now just um just a little bit just to see how much it raises by now we've got that new connection see what it's like and um and yeah i think the only real repairs are going to be needed is uh, some some floor repairs so some keel keel holes uh, which we can sort out that's not a problem um it's going to need a little bit more of a clean up probably underneath the floor might need to be have a fiddle with the transom as well but apart from that i think i hope that we're going to be able to restore this and uh, and get it on its get it on the water for a bit uh, do a little run on it a former glory kind of thing and um, and then maybe retire it but if it holds air overnight mostly then uh, we know it's going to be safe for, for a day um, but now it's fully pumped up i'm going to give it another, another clean and i'm going to pump up the keel as well but uh, before we do the keel i'm going to jump in it clean up clean up the sides just a little bit more get it really nice and then we're going to do the keel and see if it holds air but what a boat look at it it's beautiful So this is it, the, uh, the floor, uh, the, 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 keel, the inflatable keel floor only went to uh, I think 1.70 uh, PSI. So there's definitely holes in the floor um, and, and the keel, that's what we've got to sort out. Um, and then there's that, there's that sort of hole in between the front tube. But, um, so I think there's probably multiple holes in the floor, which we've got to deal with. Um, and then there's that, one, there's that one hole on the other side. Um, I don't even think. Yeah, the floor's not really held much at all. So, but otherwise, there it is. There's an old 1980s uh, XRNLI boat, pumped up and restored to what I would say a semi former glory. Um, we've, we've cleaned it up and we've done it some some justice. But it's amazing to think how many um, how many people it's saved over the years. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible. I really like it. I really like it. But yes, let's go have a little closer look. An old pump in there. You've got more, more pockets. That's come off from somewhere. As I say, that's come off, that needs gluing back on. A couple of handles which we need to redo. Um, one thing I really don't know what it is, um, and if any of you guys do know, is this thing here. I don't know what would have gone onto that. Um, there's none, not one the other side, so they're not they're not generic. Um, but yeah, there it is, and um, that's that is how it sits at the moment. So what we'll do is um, we'll leave that overnight. We'll see how much air it loses, if any. Hopefully not a lot, um, and then uh, we'll, we'll we'll deflate it probably at some point. We'll pull the floor out. We'll clean out the inside, get all the dirt and the rocks out and anything which is problematic. We'll pump the keel up without the floor inside. Um, so we can have a closer look as to how many holes it's got. Um, I can't lift it up on my own uh, at the moment in time, um, but when we can lift it up, we can we can twist it over and uh, we can have a little look as to what's what's going on underneath. But pumps up and um, it's it's cleaned up cleaned up nicely. So hope you've enjoyed today's little video. Very different. Um, as I said, we're, we're not 100% sure what we're gonna do with it. I've got a couple of people who are looking probably to restore the boat. Um, it's not something I'm necessarily majorly interested in doing myself, just purely based on I haven't got much time. It's not my expertise, I could learn about it, but I've got other things which I really need to be doing. And um, I'm sure you guys will appreciate the fishing 
more opposed to lots of uh, gluing PVC together and finding holes in boats. But yeah, there it is. What a, what a video it's a day it's been and a clean up it's been. It looks really good, really good. And um, the last thing for me to say is we're going to do more with this boat. We'll take you along for the journey. Uh, and thank you for Matt from Evolution Southern Sea Fishing page on Facebook. Um, go and join that group. They're a fantastic fishing group, really inclusive. They're all about, I'm the, one of the admin on it now. Um, they're all about what I'm about. Inclusivity and love and all that stuff. Rock and roll, baby. But um, <laughs> what, what a boat. And I hope you've enjoyed this little funny video which we've done. And we'll keep you updated what happens with it. It might be on the water once or twice, and if so, we'll obviously be doing a video on that as well. But if you've got any information, any history on it, anything like that, um, please let me know, and hopefully we can do a video of a bit about a bit about the boat and its history. But I think it's, 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 it's an old D-class. We're still trying to figure out exactly what boat it is, but if you know, please, please let us know. Thank you very much, and have a lovely week.